What is up YouTube? It is Matt back with another crypto video today on none other than Justin Sun's Tron TRX. Certainly with the Tron virtual machine launched today, it's certainly exciting news coming out about Tron. But you may ask yourself, if it's so exciting, why did Tron fall 11%? Well, I have that answer for you. Uh, this first article here, uh, Justin Sun gives some updates on the Tron community, followed by an article that details the Tron virtual machine launch. Uh, this article here does a good job of explaining the falling wedge that Tron has been trading in and why it may be soon going into a bull market. Uh, it also does a, a good, or provides a good explanation as to why we haven't seen massive gains and why it fell 11% today as opposed to uh, increasing in price. And then I will follow that up with more reasons as to why Tron's price has not increased massively as well as other cryptocurrencies in general. And then uh, why I think uh, Tron stands to succeed where others may fail. So this first article here, uh, Tron TRX, Justin Sun updates the community on Tron's progress. On August 30th, 2018, Justin Sun, the CEO, founder of Tron Foundation, updated the Tron community on the progress of Tron over the past few months during the Tron virtual machine launch. The CEO of the foundation stated that Tron network has high performance and usability. He said that after the mainnet launch, the Tron network has proven to be one of the largest decentralized networks in the world as the network accounts and daily transfer has witnessed a significant growth. And certainly when we get into these numbers, you'll see how uh, massive improvements uh, Tron has made. Today, the total number of accounts on the Tron network was three over uh, almost 400,000. This means that the network has seen a growth of over 1400% when compared to July 30th, a growth of 1400% in one month. That's huge, especially if they can continue that momentum. Uh, when compared to the number of accounts which was on the network at the time of the mainnet launch, I think that was in May, the network has seen an increase of 46,000%. That is truly uh, remarkable. So moreover, at present, the network accounts have witnessed a significant growth over the past two months uh, when compared to Ethereum's accounts. Tron network accounts are 11 times more than the network accounts of Ethereum. And you can see on this graph, graph here that Ethereum really has just uh, remained stagnant and kind of flatlined here. And really when uh, Tron launched their main net and again launched their virtual machine as it got closer to that, uh, the number of accounts increasing on Tron is just going exponentially. And certainly uh, Ethereum uh, is really not performing that well. I mean, it's still the number two currency in the world, but really uh, there's other coins out there that are faster, cheaper to transfer, more scalable, uh, more secure, and really the only thing Ethereum has going for it is its uh, smart contract system, and really uh, that may be soon be a thing of the past when Cardano finishes what they're working on uh, and could really be the third generation of uh, crypto and with their smart contract system. So uh, back to Tron, the CEO of the foundation further stated that at present the network accounts is on par with the network accounts of EOS. The Justin further added that they will surpass EOS in terms of accounts by the end of quarter three. Along with the rise in the network accounts, there have been a significant rise in daily transactions. On August 20th, the single day transaction of the Tron network reached its highest mark, over 400,000 transactions. The, the network has witnessed a growth of 741% since July 25th. In addition, the single day transaction has seen a growth of more than 13,000%. And these are certainly uh, massive numbers and uh, it's certainly increasing exponentially, which uh, kind of makes you wonder if it's doing so great, why aren't we seeing uh, changes in the price that much? Why isn't it going up? Why isn't it going through the roof? Uh, but we'll get into that a little bit later. So switching to uh, the news surrounding the Tron virtual machine launch uh, as Tron makes steps towards expanding the ecosystem. On August 30th, Justin Sun, the founder and CEO of Tron Foundation, has announced the official launch of Tron virtual machine. The beta version of the Tron virtual machine was announced on July 30th, 2018. The CEO of the foundation stated that the launch of the official version of the Tron virtual machine signifies the transcend of the Tron network from the basic infrastructure to the new stage of ecosystem expansion. In addition, 
The foundation has provided the global community with a sandbox during the launch of the beta version. This was in order to pass the Tron virtual machine and find bugs in the network. This was followed by the foundation making adjustments to the Tron virtual machine in accordance with the feedback they received from the community. Justin Sun also spoke about four key features of the Tron virtual machine and they are one, the Tron virtual machine is completely completely compatible with Ethereum and that is, that's a big deal right there. Uh, two, the Tron virtual machine will have a unique virtual memory. Three, there will be a distinctive resources manager and four, it will be user friendly energy consumption model. And that is definitely a uh, fantastic improvement to the Tron network. So shout out to them for releasing the Tron virtual machine on time as promised, uh, living, up, living up to their promises unlike some of these other coins uh, such as Dash that continues to miss deadlines and miss promises. Uh, so round of applause for Tron and Justin Sun and his entire team. Um, this article also follows with the updates on Odyssey. The launching process of Odyssey version 3.0 will be carried out in three phases. I will not read through these three phases, but I will provide the link in the description for you to read it yourself. Uh, so this next article I got, uh, it, and this article does a great job of explaining uh, how Tron has been trading in this falling wedge and really why that is, uh, it's really ripe for a bull run and ripe to take off again. And this article, I think, uh, says it will happen by the end of next month. Uh, certainly time will tell. I'm not one to predict when things will happen, but certainly with all the good news surrounding Tron, you think uh, the next bull run, Tron's going to make a heck of a go at it for sure. Uh, so this says here that the price today, even with the launch of the virtual machine, uh, the price dropped 11%, which may lead some people to uh, think it was a failure and uh, people aren't interested in it as much. But it points out that there, it says two types here, but they really detail three types. So there's three reasons why we don't see uh, the massive price increase in Tron. Uh, reason one is the Tron TRX investor uh, retail holders, uh, retail traders as number two, and number three is the whales. So retail holders will keep on holding their coins in an offline wallet, which will have no positive effect on the price of Tron. Retail traders will keep on trading the waves up and down, and their actions will have the most effect on the price of Tron. So when the price goes up a little bit, they all trade, make a little bit of profit. When the price goes down, they all buy. And that's that's why you see the uh, fluctuations in the price of Tron. So then there are the whales who are only interested in the medium and long-term plays. Their actions have a significant impact on the price of Tron, but they do not buy until the price has completely bottomed out. Even then, they buy smartly using most new retail, or yeah, retail investors as fodder. So really, these three reasons here are why we're not seeing the price increases of Tron that you would expect. It's because of really the day traders that are uh, selling it when it raises in price and then buying it again when it drops in price. And then uh, certainly when the whales start to get involved is when you see bigger changes in the price of Tron. And really overall, and my reason why I think we're not seeing massive increases or decreases in Tron or really any other cryptocurrency for that matter, is uh, mass adoption, which leads to this next article here. 18% uh, of students in the United States, which is twice the US uh, average, own cryptocurrency. So really one in 10 people in the United States own cryptocurrency and 18% uh, of students in the United States own cryptocurrency. So we're really not seeing mass adoption of cryptocurrency and that's why we're not seeing massive increases in prices because um, the supply is there, but the demand is not there yet. And this article here, um, the same article here says uh, less than 1% of the world owns cryptocurrency. And certainly that is far, far from mass adoption. And uh, as the adoption increases, which it most certainly will, um, that's when we'll start seeing these prices increase and start seeing them hold the price increases. So really... Uh, with any cryptocurrency for that matter, it could be three to five years before we're seeing the prices that we expect to see and uh, really hold those prices. Because the wor if the world is not mass adopting these currencies, if only 1% of the world is uh, buying and selling these currencies, that's why these prices are staying stagnant. They're going up a little bit one day, down a little bit the next day. 
it's really going to take true mass adoption of the world before we see major increases in prices. And uh, why I think Tron stand, or has an edge over other currencies in this uh, realm and when mass adoption starts to take place is because uh, Tron's not waiting around for the world to get hip to cryptocurrency. Tron is kind of forcing it into the world's eyes. It's forcing it down the world's throat and forcing the world to accept cryptocurrency. And this article here does uh, a good job of explaining how uh, Tron is doing that. And shout out Justin's son. I mean, he's certainly uh, marketing his coin and marketing his currency in really the best way possible in my mind. He's getting it into uh, things that people use every single day, and that is um, social media. And really the collaboration with Pornhub and all their other partnerships is why I think Tron will be successful in the future because they're not waiting for people to discover cryptocurrency. They're putting cryptocurrency in these areas that people are already aware of, thus uh, forcing them to become aware of cryptocurrency and specifically Tron in general. Uh, their partnership with Twitter, people that have never heard of cryptocurrency aside from Bitcoin are now seeing um, Kanye West or the Pope are now owners of Tron, which gets their interest peaked a little bit. What is Tron? So they look into it and, and learn more about it, get more excited about it. And uh, they're, they're creating their own uh, social media app now, the Tron chat app. And it's a decentralized app. And I really think decentralized um, social medias will be the social media of choice in the future as we're seeing uh, these issues that come up with Facebook and uh, Twitter uh, and really YouTube, I guess, uh, shadow banning people and uh, just deleting accounts and really uh, tracking or monitoring their users, monitoring their messaging messages and really uh, losing the public's trust in uh, their the security of their data and their, their privacy. So that's why I think Tron launching a uh, decentralized app is uh, going to be huge for Tron in the future, and especially if the app rewards you with Tron simply for using it. If you post on on this app, you get rewarded with Tron. So why would you not want to get paid to use social media? And that's why I think Tron will be successful once we start to see this mass adoption is because people are already aware of it that aren't otherwise aware of cryptocurrency as a whole. Um, I think 90 million people use Pornhub. So that's 90 million extra people that were unaware of Tron that are now aware of it. So that's why I think Tron will be successful in the future is because the way they are marketing their coin, they're getting it out there, forcing it into the public's consciousness, forcing people to uh, read about it, get interested about it, and really uh, shout out to Tron, uh, the whole Tron team. The way they are doing this, I think, is uh, really genius. Uh, most of these other currencies don't, well, there are a lot out there that do have a real world use. But Tron is certainly uh, taking it a step further by uh, going after these social media networks. And when mass adoption takes place, that's why I think Tron will be uh, one of the market leaders for sure. Because people are already aware of it. And it could be the first cryptocurrency people really hear about aside from Bitcoin. So with all that being said and all this news I have delivered to you today, that will wrap up this video. If you guys enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell to get notifications when I post new content. Like it, share it, leave a comment, and I will see you guys later.